shit's finished, yeah. I had a minute, yeah. Ain't had the limit, no. I'm back to winning, I'm back to business, I'm back to finish, yeah. I'm back to winning. Happy Monday, everybody. Hey. Yeah. It's September 12th, 2022. We're going to get started with the Weird Things podcast here in just a few minutes. How's everybody doing? Hi. And you want to know what? What? Living the dream. What? Living the, living the dream, man. Oh, I thought you said you had a dream. Mm. And I wanted to know what happened. I I think I had a dream. I can't remember what it was about. I think I had a dream last night. I Is that a song by Dua Lipa? It, about. it could be. It could, could be. be. And it's called like a forgotten dreams. Forgotten dot 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 parenthetical dreams. <laughs> it's got a house beat. Do, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that your brain <laughs> right upon waking up goes, oh, none of that happened. Hold on. Erase, 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 erase. Because like there's some there's some rad stuff in dreams. And it's like I'm sad that I remember so little of it. Do, do you have a thing where... Like if a dream gets too bad and starts edging on nightmare territory, uh, I will like like call cut. Yep, I I I, I totally director my dream. Yeah, I'm like, it's no, like, like, that's dumb. That's dumb. Back is, to one. Back to one. Yeah. This yeah. time I've got an assault rifle. <laughs> yeah. You're like all right, well I don't love it, but eh, wow. this will work. <laughs> like I've definitely like like if I'm in a dream and I'm in a car and I'm going over a cliff. Uh-huh. I will definitely be like, yeah, now it's zero gravity. We have a zero gravity car. Like, like I know it's hack. It's so, stupid, but I'm not going to die in my dream. So stop it. So the two of you just lucid dream well, all the time? Only good. for bad things. Like, if it's if it's a good thing, I'll have a boring dream. I will just not have a horrifying dream. Well, and uh, oh. even then, uh, it, it, it rarely goes into lucid territory. Like, I'm not aware that I'm dreaming, but I just know, like, no, this is dumb. We're not doing this. And And so within the dream... It's like go back, like that's just apparently another power I have in the yeah. dream. But 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 uh, lucid dreaming happens more um, uh, as I get older. Like maybe maybe four or five times a year. It's it's pretty d- dope. Uh, uh, it, it, it <laughs> I mean it helps when a character shows up and it's like you're dead. I'm dreaming. Hey man, how you been, Jay? You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then and then uh. uh uh, I don't know. It's uh, it, it's it's wild. Have you have you ever had a lucid dream? Uh, no, I don't dream very much. I very rarely remember my dreams, and the only times I do is usually when they're like uncomfortable. I've had a lot of these like they're not nightmares, but they're not good dreams. Might you know? need to be I, time to I, cut back on the old I, skunk. I was about to say, uh, <laughs> let me tell tell a no, story but it's always about been somebody like that. who's definitely not you. Uh. <laughs> Uh, it's that's the problem uh, with the old skunkarooski. No, I've always, I've always well, been, been like allegedly that. Allegedly, that, that is a symptom Me. of... Uh, I, I've always been like that. I've never... Mm-hmm. I've never... And your old ass skunk. <laughs> always. P.U. Really? I never did. everybody around Bryce. Someone's <laughs> on that skunk. I don't like the, the defamation going on in the podcast right <laughs> now. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't I don't dream very much. And, and usually when I do, it's it's... Uh, the paralysis, the sleep paralysis sort of thing of like, oh wow, oh my god, I'm stuck and I I'm late for the bus and I didn't do the class homework and all that stuff and uh, just those are the kind of dreams where I'm like, nah, the uh, school's not real. Oops, rewrite. Uh, now uh-huh. now I don't have any problems. Although there are times where I've had dreams that were like about really just sad things like not like personal anxiety or I'm worried for my physical health. That's the kind of stuff that I'll wind up putting the kibosh on. But if I have a dream about like somebody dying or, or somebody like, like outside my control, just like a sad event yeah, that will continue. I have no control over that. And I'll just wake up relieved that like this, horrible thing that i just spent a bunch of time ruminating on didn't happen the dumbest are are those dreams where some it's about somebody pissing me off and i'm like so angry at them that in dream world all i want to do is yell at the top of my lungs and and then you can't and then you can't open your mouth and you can't get it out sleep (laughs) sleep paralysis and so it's just like you know the maitre d is snarling at you Mm -hmm. and and you're like like i'm giving you one star but it comes out like 
Yeah, we have live footage of Bryce finding that skunk. Yeah, Bryce when he finds that skunk. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I see. Those look like my glasses too. I know. Those yeah. Look like my glasses it, at home. You have a uh, new Halloween costume. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no yeah. backsies. Yeah. Sorry, we're bullying you. Into hey, sorry. Halloween what he meant to say is. <laughs> <laughs> apparently i i was told this one day when i was maybe in high school uh my mom had come into my room to wake me up one morning uh and apparently i just screamed at the top of my lungs and i did not remember it uh uh when i came to she was like why did you scream at me uh i don't know why i did but apparently that happened so Sleep, sleep issues. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, uh, is it good idea, bad idea for me to tilt in this flap about ten percent? Uh, let me take it. Okay. We're gonna tilt it. We're tilting the flap. Tilt it. Welcome to tilt flap. Welcome to flap. Oh, flap tilters. Yeah. There we go. That's a good tilt. There we go. Tilting it. Good tilt, mate. Tilt. I like that tilt, mate. I like that tilt. Who's this? All right, let's do let's do the show. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have prompted you for another improv bit. No, I should have started. We probably podcast. should start the show. Nice <laughs> try. That'll teach us. Oh. All right, here we go. In three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Weird Things Podcast. I'm Bryce Castillo, joined by Brian Brushwood. Hello, I just landed. From where? Oh, where'd you come in from? Uh, the airport. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and Justin Robert Young. Wait, where'd you go? Uh, to adventure. Like between yesterday and today? No, I'm just thinking of a couple days ago when I came back and landed. came back. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're just back hung out on at the airport. airplane tomorrow. No, oh, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah, we will be off to the airport. Uh, Andrew Maine is uh, under the weather, so we're filling yeah, in for him shout again. Shout out to Maine. He's got some sickness, and he's getting over it. We we uh, wish him a speedy recovery. Yes. And it's not COVID. So uh, not the don't, vid. Don't ask. So if there's any vid hunters out there looking for other people <laughs> with vid, then then you better not get off. No sale, uh, uh, genius. Uh, I'm the I'm, only good vid is a dead vid. Yep. Vid hunters. <laughs> so we've got some stories here of some weird things around the world, folks. Uh, you might remember from about December 2017 when videos leaked of UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomena. Yep. Uh, they seemingly showed alien aircrafts on Navy captured video. You guys remember that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big deal. In Was April, this the big declassified stuff? Yep. That's right. In yeah. April 2020, the Navy released those videos officially declassifying them uh, because they were so widespread and, and leaked and talked about already. Government documental archive website The Black Vault has been trying uh, to FOIA for more UAP videos and finally got a response, FOIA of the Freedom of Information Act. Mm -hmm. uh, the FOIA said, and uh, Science Alert uh, uh, gives us this, the release of this information will harm national security as it may provide adversaries va valuable information regarding Department of Defense slash Navy operations, vulnerabilities, and or capabilities. Gregory Car Kaysen, Deputy Director of Navy's FOIA's office, wrote in a response letter, no portions of the video can be segregated for release. Kaysen added that the Navy was able to declassify three UAP videos in April 2020 only because the videos had been previously leaked to the media and had been, quote, discussed extensively in the public domain. More recently, the DOD announced that it will receive federal funding to open an office focused exclusively on managing reports of UFO sightings by the Army, Navy, and Air Force. It, what are they it, hiding? Is it just me or... or the only ones that are released are the ones that they probably know exactly what they are because they don't want to release things that they're not totally sure on because beyond the idea that it's aliens, which of course would be hilarious and great, yeah. uh, the likelihood is that it's either uh, something that is an artifact of whatever uh, uh, equipment that they're using, right. most likely. It's, a, it's or, something about the aircraft that was recording it. Yeah, or... Or even the, the technology. crazy thing is that it's something that they don't know exactly what it is that could be from a foreign government. In which case, now you've just sent a telegram to whoever's device that is saying, hey, this is how good you are at fooling us. Yeah. Which is not good. They do theory. not want 
to do that. And also it's like, as you know, anybody who follows this kind of stuff knows uh, the government, especially the military will not declassify anything. They are not absolutely forced to disclose. Like, like they are, they are slower than government. Like if you're just looking at civil government yeah. to declassify anything in their, in their opinion that they would, uh, they would never declassify anything. And that in, in part has like garnered them critics within the defense industry that says like, well, you're making our actual secrets uh, easier to find if everything is classified. Oh, cause there's no noise because, and then it's easier that something else falls out that shouldn't uh. because uh, if everyone's like, well, it's classified and then they actually leaks and then something becomes declassified that really should be top secret. Yeah. That's a problem. Uh, the Black Vault have a longer story about their journey to get this FOIA filled. They've spent years trying to get a response from various naval branches and, and departments, but they ended up getting, finally, they got their rejection letter. So FOIAs are tedious, too. Uh, have you filed a FOIA before? I've never done that. I have been a part of a team filing a FOIA. I have never done it by myself. Um, it's not brain surgery, but it is definitely tedious, and you are also very much building a ship that then needs to sail the waters of bureaucracy. So you got to know, you got to have a pretty good idea what you're looking for. So they're not going to disqualify it on a technicality. Uh, and then depending on what organization that you are applying to, they can then also put on fairly onerous uh, prices on how much it takes for them to, to research and, and pull. photocopy uh, uh, whatever you want. So it, it's a it, it's a dance, uh, but I would say anybody who wants to be a journalist learn how to do it. Like that is that is what you can make an entire living doing that. It's yeah. like somebody at the government see buys tickets to a com concert and just like you know the light bulb goes on. And he's like convenience charge. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll charge a convenience charge. Yes, uh, and I think at, at a certain point it made a little bit of sense when it was like. Well, we got a photocopy. It ink isn't free, and now it's like, oh, PDFs are, and and you probably have a lot of this uh, either that's scannable. That also, I guess, it takes man hours. But it takes it takes time to search through that stuff, and also a lot of that document stuff is not digitized. Like a no. lot of that stuff is just not even like maybe it's classified physically. But I know one of my first jobs. This is only very tangentially <laughs> paralleled, but one of my first jobs was a city job, and all the entire office there was just digitizing records not even not even digitizing just scanning them not doing ocr not trying to yeah. classify just zip 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 because they have boxes cabinets of all of this stuff that they don't even they don't even know what they have to some degree uh, did did they actually recycle any of the stuff or or they they held on to the official records because they were like contracts <laughs> and stuff right 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 so you do all that and then still hold on to them <laughs> it's amazing i assume so. well and uh, but they were uh, yeah anyway um so yeah so i, I don't know what there's are, what? there's are there aliens though like wh okay. what are the things that we we they couldn't explain that would be dangerous to come out like a shape of a ship we've never seen well uh, first of all tactically there's an advantage like uh man if i was the united states uh i would want everybody on earth to believe that we actually have alien technology that we've captured or that we are in secret communication with extraterrestrials. There is no downside to any of that. The only downside is when you get found out that 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 you're mm -hmm. full of it. That so, sounds like a downside, but uh, what you uh, what you could do is uh, you know you keep on releasing all the uh, give them a little tickle, G give give them a little alien foot tick tickle, alien feet. So so your little alien feet. This little alien went to Pluto. <laughs> so you're arguing that the government is like cutting wrestling promos for ufos uh to keep the hype up i mean to, well, okay. i mean like, is that too broad no, justin is no, that too no. broad I of a I metaphor i don't think that this is necessarily a situation where you want to uh create a straw man that you have alien technology per se uh, i do think that it, it's you know, kind of a cosmic gumbo of <laughs> uh you know pilots see crazy stuff in the sky it's a physically demanding a thing and 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 pilots are their own special breed of human. Uh our friend Andrew Heaton uh did a great episode of the political orphanage a few years ago pointing out that 
effectively the entire hype cycle around not only some of these pictures and videos, but also just the idea that the government has proof of UFOs and the push to declassify them is one organization and they are found are funded by Mark Hoppus of, uh, uh, or no, no, Tom DeLong of Blink-182. Um, and uh, yeah, so like they are, they are there to try and make this a thing. They understand how to play the media game and uh, uh, they do it really, really well. But at the end of the day, the likelihood that we have a treasure trove of a gigantic amount of these pictures and videos is fairly unlikely. Well, yeah. and uh, on top of that, it's like uh, no, nobody is comfortable with unresolved mysteries where it's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. it, you know, like, 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 like to this day on the Austin subreddit, somebody's like, I was walking my dog this morning. What the hell is that in the sky? I glance and I'm like, Starlink satellites. And everyone immediately is like, those are Starlink satellites. But it's like, absent that, the real answer should be, I don't know, weird crap in the sky. Who cares? Yeah. Like that, that you, should be the default answer, but none of us want to say that. You know what is also possibly in play here is at some point, these were UAPs, right? Like at some point, these, whatever these video, the trove of video files is, when they were captured, and reported and they didn't know what they were but if they know what it is now how much and they and they are able to say like oh that's a russian uh, fighter jet whatever like cool we're not just going to give out footage of a russian fighter jet that people can analyze <laughs> to, to, to figure that stuff you know what i mean like it, it's well, only or, unknown or, 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 for or, a specific yeah. amount of time and, and and let's say um let's say what you wanted to do was build a database of ways to identify, let, let, let's say you know this certain strike fighter or whatever from Russia, and you know that's what you have footage of. Yeah. You take the weird part, you put it out, and then you have everybody discuss it. And then all of the words they use to describe it now become valuable data that you can now cross-reference with all of the recorded chatter between all of the pilots over the last five years to figure out, oh, maybe that was, you know, and maybe, maybe, retroactively figure out mm. when they started deploying this strike fighter because it could be that they have technology to analyze these videos that is not publicly available or is maybe not well known or is some sort of spy craft secret that if we put out a video that said we thought this was an alien but we realized it wasn't then you're just giving everybody a scavenger hunt you're well, telling everybody hey we figured this out can you and uh, uh I, well, also, I think that, that all of this is wrapped around the idea that I don't believe that the Air Force believes that any of these videos are aliens, right? Right, like, right. It, they, but they are unexplained aerial phenomena. And, 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 that's, and that's the idea. The idea is like, okay, well, when they tap out and they don't know what it is, then it should be thrown to the public to decide what it is. And that's just not how this stuff works. Well, and keep in mind, uh, uh, secrecy is important in a military hierarchy. So uh, maybe some of the higher ups know for a fact because of the spy intelligence that, that, that Russia, let's say, is doing a test run of their stealth, whatever. It's like, we need to know what this looks like. It's like doing a magic trick. You have to practice yeah. on somebody who doesn't know how it's done so that you know what it looks like. And so you may like, even have to, on say, um, a metadata side, lie. You may have to lie. You may have to print it. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's an unexplained well, error. That, that happens, yeah, all the time. Right. Yeah. And and so you tell the, the pilot, hey, we're just going to do an unusual training run. It'll be north of the Arctic Circle at around this time. Yeah. Head on out there. Mm -hmm. and then, oh, and I then, saw something. Uh, uh, go, oh, go on. Oh, well, it was... <laughs> It was bright red. What? I've flown over the haunted house when I saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's the rare snake alert. <laughs> the rare snake. That's oh, right. No. We've had a rare snake sighting. Have this you guys? Was a bad episode for me to not wear my headphones. <laughs> Have you guys heard the rim rock crowned snake? Have you heard of the rim rock crowned snake? Yeah, dude. I saw him. Uh, he was calling himself Red Rocks back then. Yeah. Uh, we 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 met at Red Rocks National Park in in Colorado. Okay. He was high. Oh. Yeah. When but, was this? Well, uh, like what year? Sixty-eight. Nineteen sixty-eight. Or twenty sixty-eight. Times funny. Both of those are very funny. Times answers, funny so. when you straight snaking. <laughs> <laughs> the Rim Rock Crown Snake is a small snake that mostly lives underground. Mm -hmm. They were first described in nineteen sixty-six. And none have been spotted since 2018 until last week. 
Uh, we only know where are they? Uh, uh, they they are native to Florida. They are native to Southern yeah, what Florida. Up? What up? Uh, only twenty six of these snakes are known to exist. It is a in, it is a threatened, I believe, species. Oh wait, are they in the Everglades? Uh, yes. Okay. I, well, I that's believe. why. That's why ain't nobody seen them. It sucks to go in there. <laughs> And uh, so, uh, oh, actually, so one of them had been just found at the John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park. Yep, that's a great one. There were two interesting things about this snake. Sleuths, I need you to figure out what those two weird things about the snake are. Uh, listen, I'm <laughs> glad you called us first. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I just got out of the water. This is uh, the the snorkeling park of South Florida, the John Pennycamp State Coral Reef Park. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, sorry, my name's the uh, 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 Ace, the uh, aquatic detective. Yeah, uh, 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 you know me, Zebediah. <laughs> oh, pleasure to meet you, Zebediah. Uh, uh, I'll bet you we're, this would be if we were a team, we'd be called A to Z. Called A to Z. <laughs> well. Weird that we're, yeah. I I thought we we've met several times. In fact, well, I'm sure I said that then too. Sorry, <laughs> uh, when I get out of the water, I'm a little lightheaded. It's a uh, 51st state center situation. <laughs> how's the coral looking down there? Oh man, it's great. Yeah, it looks like somebody put a bunch of uh, 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 cloth and they ripped it up and then it <laughs> ossified and then it they did kept doing it. Man, that coral, don't touch it. I swear to God, don't touch it. It don't touch it. No, it'll 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 scrape you up. Oh. What, if it, what if it touches me? Then you are in trouble. You're gonna need a band aid. <laughs> uh, listen, you didn't see any snakes floating around down there, did you? Nope. But I wonder if one is right behind me. <laughs> ah! No, that appears to be the park ranger. <laughs> Hi, Bryce. Hi. Uh, have you guys seen a snake around here? There's um, a couple of interesting things about it. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, we get a lot of snake cases. That's yeah. why. Wait, hold on. We're not showing up after the fact, so we could slowly walk through this. <laughs> that might seem to be a con a construct that we could uh, that we could work with instead of yeah. Hey, an inciting you guys want to see a well, weird no, snake? It's a missing persons case. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well no, no. So, uh, 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 sorry. A to Z here. <laughs> uh, we got word that there was a crazy snake. There's a crazy snake here. I'd like you to look at it and tell me what's weird about it. Well, I mean, first of all, uh, I'm holding it upside down. Let me just. There we go. Oh, okay. Now that makes more sense. Uh, it's at yep. Ekans before. He was going left and now he's going right. Yep. Uh, uh, do, mm. do me mm -hmm. a favor, uh, uh, Ace. Count the number of heads on that snake. Uh, one? End of counting. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. all right. It looks like one head. One head, okay. Okay, all right, all right. Count the number of tails on that yeah, snake. Yeah, here we go. One. Keep counting. Two. Oh, end counting. <laughs> oh, Three. Yeah. No, no, I uh, know. Two, no, no. two, two. two. Sorry, it was a, uh, there was a, uh, there was a shadow. There's a shadow on one. the words. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, more than one. All right, so there we go. All right, so we have two uh, tails. But this is not a two-tailed snake, no siree. Oh, one of them ate another one. Well, or well, that's not us. It broke out the back. Tr uh, traditionally, it's not a two-tailed snake. Is that is that right? Officer, uh, this one is not two tailed. The the snake that we're looking at here is only got here. I, I I'll jump to the to the to the, to the quick here. So it was dead. Uh, that's one of the weird things. It's only about eight in eight. This snake is dead. <laughs> it's also dead. Another uh, case. Call solved the, call by the snake and Zebediah. Uh, call the snake corridor. You're welcome. Corridor. Snakes. Call the snake <laughs> corridor. <laughs> So, Hello, uh, I'm the snake corridor from the snake corridor. Press well, one you know if what? you'd like to report a snake. So simple to do autopsies. <laughs> we might actually have to go snakes. to you in a minute. So the other thing about the snake, and you're going to see it when I show you the picture here from our friends at Science Whoa. Alert. It was found choked to death on a giant Caribbean centipede. Um... I thought there was one thing that snakes were pretty good at, which is mm -hmm. swallowing big old things. That is true. 
Uh, this snake only it's managed. The only thing I I've put them in management positions. Yep. I've uh-huh. I, I've hired them as frontline drivers. Huh? Uh, I I I I once uh, promoted one to CEO. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, great experience is all. Well, uh, the, uh, they never choke. Well, they 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 uh, kept breathing. Yeah. So this this snake only ate about two inches of this giant Caribbean centipede before it choked to death. All it, right. uh, scientists actually, the, the snake coroner actually was able to uh, autopsy the snake without cutting into it using a CT scan. And they found that the... Uh, the, the the Caribbean giant centipede is venomous, and they oh. they found a wound on the snake. Uh, I believe it was an exterior wound. Um, to the believing which which they don't believe is how it died. They think that this snake has a has a an anti venom is 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 resilient to this sort of venom. Um, but it, it just cho- it just choked to death. It choked on the on, on the centipede, which is why I guess it's it's interesting that it had not been seen in a while because they have to be somewhere really deep and dank into the Everglades where it's a real pain in the butt to go find them. But one had to die and then filter out downstream into this uh, in, into this park for anyone to see one, which is insane. Yeah. Uh, very, very interesting. I did not re. I mean, it makes sense that we have a good understanding of species. That just we haven't seen in a while. Imagine you and the crew, you've kept secret for like two years and you're celebrating your two year we're secret from the humans uh, anniversary. <laughs> and then Doug's like, Ugh. anyway, I'm going to go grab this Caribbean caterpillar. And you're like, D- Doug, I swear uh, to God, man, don't choke on yeah. that. I am going to choke on it. Don't choke on it. <laughs> And they're like, all right, Barry, Doug, no, and he's floating down the road. Well, <laughs> reset it to zero. Yeah. Two, two inches, not even once. <laughs> right. Uh, but it's it's interesting, and it's giving some scientists a little bit more to learn about this, this interesting species. I got another thing for you. Good. Gentlemen, I'm giving you 50 years oh. and $50 billion Loving with it. one charge. Yep. Okay. Make the earth safer from volcanoes. What would you do? What would you like to achieve? What effects would you use the money for to protect the world from volcanoes? Uh, 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 $50 billion a piece guns. Okay. Uh, One $50 right, billion dollar gun. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry. 50, 10, uh, $51 billion a piece guns. Okay. So I, I get 50 of them. And, and we, you're going to uh, start shooting it out. At the us, volcano? Us and the, me and the volcano. Uh, I'm going to show you, volcano. Look at this piece. They're calling it the gun that kills volcanoes. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, Volcano slayer gerbs. You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to recuse myself from this one, Justin. You're fully in charge of the budget. I, All right. I, I have a quick errand I need to run, and I'll be right back. I'm back. I've filed the paperwork. I have an LLC. I bought a sign printing machine. I can print signs for you yeah. that say, warning. Do not get near this volcano. <laughs> All right. So is that for when I start shooting at the volcano? Well. That we want to keep people away from my awesome a billion dollar gunfire? Well, no. I, I, I was thinking. It's going to come with bullets. I just want to let anyone know I hope it comes who, who, with who I'm specking out these billion dollar guns. It's going to come with bullets, my friend. It's going to come with bullets. Brian's or, got the signs yeah. to say. Watch out. This might be too awesome. Uh, uh, you better stay away. In many languages, yep. with pictures, four colors, CMYK processing, Let's go. offset printing Let's go. Mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. you. Full bleed. QR 30, code. 30,000 per page. Yeah. Per sign? I'll give up one gun. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'll, Make as many uh, as you want, as long as it only costs one billion dollars. Minimum order a thousand. Oh my god! I don't know math. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's all I'm. I know one billion dollars per gun, fifty billion dollars, anywhere between forty-five and sixty. Guns. I can tell you're a man of discriminating tastes. Yeah. How about this? For fifty million more, we will fly planes around and. Litter the signs so everybody knows not to go near the volcano. All right, how about this? Yeah. You spec out how much it's going to cost. Okay. We put somebody in the lifeguard stand. Yeah. 
near the volcano. Okay. When they see anybody get near the volcano, they go, hey, you, get away. Get away. <laughs> that- yeah, yeah, nope, stay up. You stay away. Now, he can't work nonstop, so I figure once an hour he goes, Brr, adults swim. Yep. And only adults can jump in the only, lava. Only adults can jump in the lava, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. uh, but meanwhile, all of the papers are raining down saying yep. stay away stay from away the awesome gunfire. Stay away from gun the awesome gunfire. Well, you want to know what? I'm kind of going away from my gun situation Well, now. hold on. I kind of like it because we could we can hire a production crew and edit it down, and then we could sell DVDs. You think we could start a GoFundMe? Uh, I gave you $50 billion. You're I, not my dad. <laughs> Look, it takes money to make money, all right? Exactly. <laughs> How much more do you need? <laughs> we're going to start a GoFundMe, and we're going to make a really cool video, and you're going to be like, volcanoes, what are they good for? Dude. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Why don't we shoot them with a billion-dollar gun? Hi, I'm Justin Robert Young, and I want to buy a, a, a several billion dollars worth of guns and shoot them at volcanoes. Do you want to do it, too? <laughs> You can't. It's only me that shoots it, but you can give me money. All right, but yeah. since we've recorded it, remember yeah. those uh, those impulse buy VHS tapes that you would buy to shut your kid up at the grocery store that were like big trucks or whatever? Yeah. It's just like a guy who shoots guns at, at volcanoes. volcanoes. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll clean up. We could probably get sponsored by Black Ask Rifle Bro. Coffee. Wait, who? What was it? Is it Black Rifle Coffee? Is that like the conservative coffee oh, place? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just Google it. And yeah, see Black Rifle I, there Coffee. There we go. Yeah, we can get a sponsor. So shout out to them for sponsoring. <laughs> Free plug Use plug. offer code Volcano at checkout. <laughs> all right, all right. So how hold do you on. feel Kano, like you did? Kano, Kano yeah, Killer. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, do you have any connections in Big Cork? <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you want to know Donnie Cork? Oh, I know Donnie Cork. I mean, we could, we could, let we me could get probably, him on the horn right now. We could probably plug beep, some of these boop, up boop, beep, real boop, quick. Boop. There we go. Hey, Donnie Cork. Oh. No, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. There's an echo here. Uh, uh, this is Donnie Cork's brother, Johnny Cork. Let, let me, let me, let me hook you up with Donnie. Uh, Donnie Cork here. How can I help you? I got corks. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm gonna need some of your corks. Oh well, I've got corks. So uh, 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 how many do you need? How well, big you make them, Don? Yeah. Uh, we'll make them for any size wine bottle. You know, 100 millimeters, 150 millimeters, 155 millimeters. Right, I'm, I'm gonna need you to take that word millimeters and okay. just throw it out of your vocabulary. Oh. From now on, what you mean to say is yards. Yeah. Oh, okay. Standard. You're in your you're interested in standard. Okay. Yep. Well, I think that's point zero two mm. yards. <laughs> that's Donnie, point. Donnie, I'm gonna need you to sit down. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm already uh, yes, okay, yes. Are you sitting down? Are you both on the phone? <laughs> Have you yeah, sat yeah. down? <laughs> yes, I'm sitting down. All Have right. you ever seen the movie Armageddon? Yeah. I love it. It's my favorite movie. I okay, watch it every day. Well, uh, guess what? It's real. It's yeah. always <gasps> been real. Except <gasps> now we're not gonna make you not pay taxes forever, but I am gonna give you Five hundred thousand dollars. If you give me a cork that'll plug a volcano, uh, five. What? Well, that I don't know that we could. Five hundred thousand dollars seems cheap for How one hard volcano. Can it be? Oh, don't nickel and dime uh, me, you uh, screwbag. Uh, to the best. All right, here we go. All up my, all up my offer. Mm. One hundred million dollars. All right. Well, we can do something like that. Which, which volcano are you looking at? The biggest one there is. Which. As We're, you know, as we hold know, on. Is yeah, I, you know, I'm the not the biggest a, volcano. <laughs> you know, I'm Sorry, not a seismologist. I'm, to be on mute. I'm a corkologist. What's the biggest volcano? Hold on. I know corks. Now playing the Beatles. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hold uh, on. I know wine bottles. What's the? What? What do you mean you don't have a phone number for Lindsay? <laughs> <laughs> What's the largest volcano? Oh yes, of course. I'm uh, talking about. Uh, Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need some. You need shipping. You need international. Sh- you need extra shipping. Yes, Don. No, it's not don't. in your backyard. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not- Don. Last time I checked, corks float. You you just need a couple of paddles yep. and some brave people named Don and John. Well, it would be faster for us to just put it on a boat. I think. Uh, How but- big are you thinking this boat's gonna be? 
Uh, How big? Whoa, look at you, Mr. <laughs> Boatman. Uh, Marshal in your own Navy. I'm sorry, did you want my help? <laughs> yeah, I made you $100 million. Are you in or you out, I'm, Don? I'm in. All right. Now, All how right. long do I have to make this giant cork? Okay, here, pro tip. Make the cork in the shape of a boat. But it'll also fit in the but it'll also fit in the volcano. Make make a boat shaped cork. A boat shaped cork. That Put a boat in engine a on it. Yep. Put some boat. Uh, yeah. Uh, see this this rudders. guy. This guy corks. Yep. Okay. Yep. All, All right. right. I think we're becoming we good. <laughs> we're becoming North we Grumman at this point. Yeah. I'm uh, paying you a hundred million. All right. Fine. Two hundred million dollars. All right. There we go. All right. We got two hundred million dollars on the Did table. Did he just right hang now. up on us? Yeah. Yeah. Tell John I'll Looks see like, him at Thanksgiving. All right, I'll see him Bye. too. Bye. Click like again. Mm. <laughs> call, call Stark. Tony, Tony Stark? Okay, yeah, uh, Lockheed Martin. Sorry. I was, oh. trying to, I, I was trying to think of what was the other one. Yep. <laughs> and the yep. other one. With, uh, Eric's, uh, uh, Eric Lockheed, how can I help you? And uh, John Stark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so plug him up. He says, "Plug them up now." Plug, plug them, them up. up. Might might be difficult since uh, they tend to be release valves uh, not for the earth. If, if you have enough uh, political will, anything is possible. I say we start a propaganda campaign. I own a printing business. <laughs> uh, what we do is we get people chanting at rallies to plug them up. Yeah, plug them up. Oh, I mean, what we we plug them up. Up here, and then uh, maybe just a little more pressure goes down under the sea. Who cares? What, a bunch of fish going to die? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, whatever. So, uh, you, Cry you, about it, Aquaman. <laughs> so you, you may or may not know this, but in Tonga, uh, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in January erupted uh, in the South Pacific Ocean. It was... A big explosion. It was one of the largest uh, uh, in the Philippines. Uh, it was it was one of the largest since an explosion in the Philippines in 1991. Uh, uh, reportedly, the biggest explosion ever recorded by instruments. Uh, this is the one that like uh, 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 like less than a year ago, right? Yeah, this was this January. Yeah, um, and and that prompted um, uh, some folks to write an editorial for Nature. Uh, Michael Cassidy and Lara Mani uh, saying uh, it, it, the, the lead is huge volcano eruptions. It's time to prepare. Uh, I, I found this from Gizmodo. They had a really interesting pull quote of like, if you had a one in six chance of your house falling down at any point in your life, would you do anything about that to make that not happen? Probably. Uh, because those are about the odds on some of these uh, really, really big volcanic um, events. And we really don't. No, we can monitor them. We can I, I, get a little bit of forecast, but there's not a lot. I guess really the last time that we had the volcanoes that were greatly affecting to society was when that one kept going off and, and the, the soot from it wound up like affecting flight patterns and, and all sorts of stuff, right? Well, in fact, uh, uh, there's, there's been e even more. There was, uh, have you heard of the year without summer? Have you heard about this? Oh, yeah. It was, you heard about this? It was uh, 1816. Uh, I, 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 uh, I'm going to see this, if I can. Is uh, this Krakatoa? No. Uh, this was, I'm going to try and make sure I get this right. Uh, Mount Tambora. That's right. Mount, Mount Tambora, um, which is in the Dutch East Indies or Indonesia. Uh, it erupted in 1815, and it was such a massive uh, eruption that it led to widespread famine and death and cooling across the world uh europe uh, saw uh, uh, uh 0.7 to 1 entire degree fahrenheit uh Damn. temperature decrease um very very diff the coldest on record summers between the years 1766 and 2000 um this affected uh crops because a lot of crops just e even though people could survive harsh winters the crops died uh, uh, and and which was the biggest, the, the really the biggest thing. This was before a lot of distribution networks had been built, um, and so it, it it prompts this question: If we had a fifty year runway, or however many years, yeah. whatever you wanted to call it, and we had a gigantic amount of money to parse over that amount of time, what? What would we do? What would we need to do to protect the world from something like that? Because a bad enough volcano. We don't have a, a a solution for. Yeah, I have I have no clue on on how to actually solve it. Uh, uh, aside from 
us beginning with the understanding that Mother Nature is a sociopathic murderer and we need to subjugate her for our own survival and the survival of your children. Ryan, what do you think? Uh, grow rooms. L- uh, uh, pro tip, don't have Re- any solar reggae power. Reggae plays. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think... Uh, do you think about volcanoes a lot? Do you I worry do. about volcanoes? I do. I, I was specifically, I think about the... the Yellowstone mega volcano uh, that just, you know, one day is going to explode and end the world as we know it. Yeah. Some, sometime in the next uh, uh, 500 to 500,000 years. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, it's so big that it turns down the volume on what most people consider to be the most pressing issues. Like when, when, when a finger snap, a Thanos snap can cause an island to explode and create worldwide famine and death and a drop of, of two degrees, uh, boy, does, does that turn down the volume on, on wanting to separate my plastics from my papers to help climate change? It's, it's, but, it's really hard. It, they're, they're, and, and right now, we don't know what those solutions would be, right? We would need major scientific breakthroughs to really make a dent in this. There are some ideas of, well, what if we drilled into the earth? We, we, they found, I believe, in northern Europe, they drilled into, into the earth and found a magma pocket. They found, they actually dug to, to magma. Not a lot. Um, but, but enough where all of a sudden it's like, whoops, and, and now uh, like a zip but, popping, there's just a volcano there. Well, no, no, they're, they're, they've actually got a research station there. It really wasn't a lot of magma, but en- enough that they noticed it. And uh, uh, it, it opened the idea of what if we could release the, the pressure on our own? What if we could drill into the earth and give it a little outgas and maybe that saves something? But uh, that's a, let's burp this baby. But it's a huge undertaking. That's gigantic. Well, uh, and keep in mind also the reason that we get volcanoes is because we have tectonic plates that are shifting around, bumping into each other, uh, pulling away from each other, Mm -hmm. tearing holes in the earth. And um, make uh, a decision. We (laughs) enough moving. (laughs) We've settled. We uh, uh, let's say optimistically we're able to make geothermal plants at all of these important points. Uh, We still lack an effective way to store that energy, like uh, uh, some might say hydrogen to be used for fuel cells, but those are very difficult and problematic uh, because it's hard to keep hydrogen in anything because it's so small. Mm. Uh, We don't have batteries that last very long. Uh, The resistance uh, of of electrons lost over long-term cableage is is, is, uh, unhelpful. So so Uh let's say we perfectly understood all the bumping and grinding of all of the tectonic plates, and we're able to predict every volcanic event as it's happening, and we're able to show up early enough to build geothermal things like- Which, which I guess also would mean that we understand every earthquake and tsunami. Correct, right? correct, correct. Yeah. And then, uh, 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 which again, non-zero, uh, we yeah. might might get there. Uh, as of now, uh, the, the technological challenge of how to store all that energy escapes us uh we, 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 well i mean man i'll tell you what isn't, that, it, isn't it kind of wild that we are p- possibly within our lifetime with the computing of ai that you could just throw in all of our records on every earthquake ever and then just be like when's the next earthquake and it might be right yeah yeah I, I, well as a matter of fact i think much like tracking the weather uh now it's a it's a, a, a chaotic system like the weather. So it's like we've gotten really good. Like in our lifetimes, weather reports used to be good for twenty four to you know seventy hours or whatever. Yeah. Now we're theoretically close to seven days. Uh, but but after that, just chaos reigns. There's yeah. too, too many vectors. Yeah. So I'd imagine like there are, I believe in our lifetime, sometimes that they're like sometime in the next day there's going to be an earthquake. Like it was that close, really? Of, wow. of like of of feeling. Oh, I the, didn't know the, that. The, That's crazy. Uh, anyway. It's it's a lot of like, uh, uh, uh. It's that's, more. That's the scale. 
Yeah, a little bit. Um, so, like, uh, well, it's a uh, rosy 34 degrees Celsius. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a guy doing a weather thing, and uh, just so you know, uh, earthquakes are at a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just don't... We're, we're verging on uh, uh, But right now We're just at uh. Anyway here's Paul Abdul Opposites attract <laughs> uh, Cassidy also uh, Cassidy mentions a few other points uh, That are worth talking about uh, There are communities uh, the, the Tonga ex, uh, eruption um, Managed to be okay Because it was In a not very populated area um, if it was much more, only four people died in that eruption. If Mount Tambora was, or excuse me, if 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 uh, uh, the the Tonga volcano was more closer to a populated area, it would have been very devastating. Um, and there there are some things that that Cassidy suggests, uh, almost like uh, if you've ever seen like uh, there are videos out there of like here's what you need to do when there is nuclear fallout, not if, not maybe, not what do we. This is what you need to do. You need to go inside, get X, Y, and Z. Um, we don't really even have that for volcanoes, and a lot of a lot of uh, the volcano sites around the world, there's not exactly a plan. What, there's what? not exactly a plan in a lot of these places, and and there's also a lot of you know uh, inter multinational uh, concerns because a lot of the governments run their seismology departments or or divisions, and so suddenly now all of this data gets siloed. Um, and so there's there's a lot of like back end infrastructure stuff that needs to happen too apparently. Do you want to start selling volcano insurance? Yeah. <laughs> that would be Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> volcano insurance. If the world ends, it's payday. What are what are you doing <laughs> to protect your family from a volcano? If your answer is nothing, I don't live near a volcano, then kiss your children goodbye. <laughs> The volcano mag insurance is a mandatory thing to have. <laughs> Send PayPal me right now. <laughs> PayPal me. Volcano insurance at paypal.com <laughs> and you will get uh, volcano insurance. It's my Venmo QR code. Uh, uh, Venmo me immediately <laughs> and I will bless you with volcano insurance. Uh, <laughs> Well, we've got a few other stories here. We'll go through these a little faster. Uh, uh, space alert! Space alert! Oh, no! <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, we got two space stories today. SpaceX had a static burn test of its Starship rocket last week. They fired all six yeah. Raptor, Raptor engines in Boca Chica, Texas, to prepare for a test of the full Starship system. Did you guys catch this? Nope. No. Although, uh, 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 I will catch the fact that we have not yet plugged uh, patreon.com slash weird things. Patreon.com oh, slash weird things. Go ahead and get your uh, uh, fix of this program and get the After Things program that comes out earlier for everybody on our Patreon. Head on over there right now. Patreon.com slash weird things. Um, there you go. Uh, so, uh, they made an eight second burn, which seemed successful. Uh, it was eight Uninterrupted seconds of a rocket burn on the launch pad. Teslarati, the website, described the situation like this. Most likely, eight long seconds of blast furnace conditions melted the top layer of the surrounding concrete and shot a hailstorm of tiny, superheated globules in almost every direction. Indeed, in almost every direction, there was something readily able to burn, and a fire started. In several locations to the south and the west, brush caught fire and began to burn unusually aggressively, quickly growing into walls of flames that spread, sped across the terrain. To the east, debris even made it to a SpaceX dumpster, the contents of which easily caught fire and burned for hours. Event yes, is there Amazon picture in Prime boxes in there. <laughs> is there? You know, it's on a uh, 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 is there? Uh, is there a picture and video of this? Um, not ex. There's, there's a, there's, there's. We've got a, an image of some of the smoke here. Uh, eventually, around 10 p.m. Eastern time, firefighters were able to approach the safe launch pad and rocket, but the main fire had already spread south out of reach. Instead, they started control burns near SpaceX's roadblocks, hoping to clear brush and prevent the fire, however unlikely, from proceeding towards the Starbase factory in the Boca Chica villages. Uh, fire controls, cr uh, fire crews controlled and extinguished the flames, but it's worth noting that uh, wildfire prevention measures and globule containment are part of those 75 environmental changes that the FAA demanded of this uh, facility earlier this year. Uh, sorry, yes. No, I know who you are, Mr. Musk. 
Yes. No, you're one of our most valuable customers. <laughs> um, no, uh, you can't. You can't make a claim because you built the volcano and then set it off. So, yeah, I'm going to end the call now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no chargebacks. Good, good, good luck with Twitter. <laughs> Click. Uh, uh, oh, we've got. We do have a little bit here of the. the... So this was the eight second burn. Right. Uh, this this was a successful burn. Otherwise, this created. Supposedly... Oh, I mean, I'd say it's very successful. <laughs> it, it created a ton of thrust. It created a yeah. lot of force that it needed to. There you have it. And it also uh, burned the By wildlife. By the way, a yeah. Bit. <laughs> uh, a, little bit. Uh, a more successful trial run than a certain Artemis. Well. Uh, so that might that's our that's our other thing. Oh no! I mean, hooray! Two stories, two stories. Well, I mean, and, and look, uh, 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 I think the the capacity of a facility like Boca Chica is something that uh, uh, I think does need to continue to evolve, um, and and certainly safety concerns are something that SpaceX wants to be very very on top of because the last thing they want is for an eight second test fire to wreck their. Uh, of, mm. of facilities, facilities which are creating the rockets right uh, uh but oh, but yeah well, i i, uh, I actually uh, don't know this artemis story this actually was not what i had queued up uh uh, uh leaky fuel seals is what uh in gadget's saying here uh do, do either of you know more about uh, this? W- uh, last time we talked about artemis they had to shut down the attempt because um they couldn't like each individual piece of artemis has passed all of their individual tests but oh, was this the one from a couple of weeks ago where they yeah, scuttled it? I get, see. Yeah, get, getting everything the right temperature at the right time all all at once uh, means you know uh, looking looking for all them leaks. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, uh, we were talking about storage uh, hydrogen leak. Uh, very difficult to take the smallest molecule that exists and keep it in a cage. So small. So small. I would make a smaller cage. That's right. That would be my guess. Uh, hydrogen, the Houdini of <laughs> molecules. So I think that that's the, the, may the, be the real. small, <laughs> but I'm crafty. Uh, hydrogen gets punched in the stomach. No, <laughs> no fuel cell can hold me. Well, uh, uh, well, thank you for bringing that to me. That don't was not the story me I was going to. Punch in the gonna... stomach. We, uh, uh, no, we have a, a Blue Origin story. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, those. really? Blue Origin had a little bit of an anomaly with uh, their rocket today. Um, they 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 are not today. Excuse me. This was yesterday. They they did a test launch. We've got the video here. So after about a minute of launch, the 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 do capsule do 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 and do the booster do. lifted off. Uh, Going just up fine. To the sky. I'm a rocket. Here we go. What's going on? All right, so about 45 seconds here. So I love uh, air. it seems to be a pretty good launch. And free engine throttled up as we're going to push up to max Q. There we go, max Q. that's the point where the aerodynamic stress on the vehicle is at its maximum. All right, we're about a minute. T plus it's one a, minute. Back. It's amazing how much SpaceX we'll influenced this entire genre. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, my God. What was that? Well, that was the entire stage. Well, I mean, it's a single stage rocket. That was the entire thrust part uh, exploding, and it looks like automatically the crew module just shot should, just off. Said, Peace out. Mm-hmm. Wow. It so that, away. And we have seen an abort of New Shepard. It has- and so that was <laughs> there, there was not really an explosion. That was um, they they don't we don't have an answer for this. This was an anomaly. Um, it seems like the escape system uh, fired. So uh, the oh, crew. Oh, so this this was this was uh, uh, like a, a, a not not deliberate, but this was a a accidental firing of an escape thing. We don't we don't know the purpose. We don't know yet. We don't know whether it was on purpose or not. Um, but yeah, the emergency uh, uh, a shuttle survival system. Can you use a pruder that a little bit? Just just like like five seconds back. Like so, we're just at that exact moment of release. Sure. Uh, they they uh, uh, they we, we we don't quite know. Yeah, so it is falling away. Yeah, so the the crew capsule uh, separated from the booster, um, uh, supposedly successfully, uh, and uh, Blue Origin did say that if that capsule had been manned, uh, they would have landed uh, safely in West Texas, where the the capsule ended up landing anyway. But this was very strange. We don't uh, we we did not immediately understand why that this happened. 
So this could be, if we're going to speculate wildly, and we get to do that because they're not telling us. That's right. And so we get to fill in the gaps. This could be anything from a um, an internal uh, uh, alarm getting triggered saying, hey, the uh, main rocket is about to explode, uh, and then, you know, initiate escape right now yeah. to um, uh, uh, an uh, actual error. Or I, I don't think they would do a secret test. Right. That would, that would be a very expensive way no, to, to, to I, do that. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that there anybody in this kind of like space game right now is is really in the the the, the market of doing much on the sly. But uh, uh, I didn't think I'd say this, but this is this is solidly a win for Blue Origin. Like certainly, certainly, if a thing goes wrong. And everybody involved that would have been there from the human side would have lived. Thumbs and up. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thumbs up. That 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 is that is that is great. And, yeah. Uh, I'm, I mean, probably not what they wanted to do. We're silver lining this one, folks. We're silver lining this one because they don't. I don't. Yeah. I think it was an accident. We have our silver linings playbook. My guess is it was. An that's accident. sheet number one. Uh, you guys want to do one last quick story? We do. Ready. Uh. <laughs> So last week, Miriam Webster introduced 370 new words and phrases. They added new words and phrases to the dictionary. Too much. Uh, how much? One they a cost? year from here on out. <laughs> they cost ten billion dollars each. Uh, so I mean, that's a you know, what, what, what do we get? Five words to warn people away from volcanoes. <laughs> so uh, some of the words that are in the lexicon now include video doorbell and doorbell camera, uh, laggy. You know, and having a slow response. How has laggy not been a word for this long? Maybe lag, lag has been a word, right? right? But, but laggy, yeah. All right, yeah. I I'm, I'm waiting feels, for Skype, that feels... Skype hole. Like, because all right, is <laughs> laggy like its own word, or is it a subword? Uh, it's its own word. So it's not like lag, and then it has the like as an adjective, laggy, like probably not because lag would be a noun and laggy would be an adjective. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, some other ones. How about uh, Don Chorus? What? You know what Don Chorus? Don <laughs> Chorus? D A W N. D A W N. Me Don Chorus. No, no. It's it's um, gotta be it's gotta be like some kind of like oh yeah or majestic. birds or something yeah. like that like or cock a doodle doo like, cock a doodle doo. Is that a Don Chorus? I'm Gary. It is the singing of wild birds that closely hey. precedes and follows sunrise. Hey. Uh, atmospheric river. That's like our our birds uh, uh, have a dawn chorus of scream, 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 <laughs> scream, scream, scream. <laughs> but it's very helpful in 2022. Yeah, it is. Uh, so everybody knows. Atmospheric river. You said yes, sir. Atmospheric river. Did didn't they used to just call it the jet stream? No, 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 no. This is like a rain thing. What? Yeah, an atmospheric river is like a downpour. I've heard this in. Uh, uh, in 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 use, I've I've heard it said. Hmm. Is that what it is? Uh, uh, uh well, let's ask Whip Merriam Webster. Let's. A concentrated band of water vapor that flows through the atmosphere, and that is a significant part of the global hydrolo hyd hydrologic cycle, an important source of regional precipitation. Okay, so it is, I've I've heard it referenced to downpours. Like that, it's like, oh, it's an atmospheric river. Yeah. Uh, okay. They often release this water vapor in the form of rain or snow, says the NOAA. So there we go. Uh, what about uh, a space force is now in? Uh, well, that's a it's a part of our military, so that makes sense. Uh, well, and it's not capitalized. Really? A space force. Well, okay. A mil the mili well, uh, yeah, it wasn't. It's it not wasn't a proper noun? Why don't we throw a space force at it? <laughs> That's a good question. It wasn't. It's not capitalized. It. <laughs> sir, there's aliens. Throw a space yeah. force. Well, we've tried an air force, sir, and it didn't get high enough. <laughs> no, yeah, they say they, they say it's not a proper name. We I tried, mean, we tried a ground force. <laughs> yeah, and, and it wasn't. We, we were way try, off. Did you try a fire force? We did fire the water force, one. Go. <laughs> no, sorry, there wasn't enough oxygen. Ah, oh, because they're in space. If only we had had a. Hmm. Oh, think, think. Take yeah. a good drink. <laughs> uh, also included was Galentine's Day. All right, All right Tina Fey. <laughs> <laughs> the holiday observed on February 13th. Pumpkin spice. No. Added. Bon me. 
the spicy sandwich from Vietnamese Well, it cuisine. seems racist that wasn't there before. That that was an overdue one. As well as a omakase, uh, the Japanese term. Is that what it is? Not omakase? I've been saying it as omakase forever. And say whatever you want. Isn't that the one where it's just like, uh, hey, chef, you, you go, these chefs have gone wild. Basically, it's like, hey, can I <laughs> please pay you three times what a normal entree and appetizer would be so you can give me a gift box of a bunch of food with the hope that there's really, really, really awesome stuff mixed in there and now, really uh, fresh stuff. That's the American word. Uh, what, what, what is the Japanese word, uh, omikaze? Well, that's the thing. It, it would be omikaze. It, oh. And so, like, I guess it, we're lo- it's a loan word now, right? We've loaned the word. They've loaned the word Loans the word. Loans the word. Some other words. Yeah. Like, yeet. Get yes! out of here! Yes! An interjection of slang used to express surprise, approval, or excited enthusiasm. Yeet! That, verb! That, that, that's that, not that even it! Even have to do a throw in a dump. To throw, especially with okay. force and without regard for okay. the thing being thrown. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, Miriam, you had me all upset for a second. Yeah, it can't be anything but yeeting. Yeeting is to throw. Yeeting it's is both. to. Is it? Yeah, because you can. Yeah. You say yeet. Yeet! You do them both. I think you do them both at the same time. There's also janky. Yeah. Janky's now in the dictionary. Thank goodness. Uh, we've also got pwn. At, at least I have something to describe the additions to the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> they finally added pwn, P-W-N. <laughs> Some now, things don't, but why don't we just legitimize the urban dictionary? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, uh, Merriam Webster is trying to is trying to jack the steez of the urban dictionary. We need to nationalize the word. Nationalize the urban dictionary. <laughs> Uh, uh, MacGyver, a slang to make form or oh, repair yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, nope, here. I'm in, I'm in. Get out of here. And finally, baller! Uh, baller? How's it, it just baller exclamation point, all e- caps? E-A-L-L-E-R, informal, excellent, exciting, or extraordinary, especially in a way that is suggestive of a lavish lifestyle. Ooh, the alliteration, the consonants, the assonance. Oh. De- defund, <laughs> defund, <laughs> defund Merriam Webster. Merriam Webster is like a poem. Like defund a poem. you. You should be defunded. <laughs> They're over there boycotting like, their mustaches and just say, Make sure they're all five letter words. I have a call to make to the New York Times. Yeah. I bet I use that soft E sound. Uh, well, that's my story. Well, you, you, know, you know, Wordle's going to be in there next year because oh. they're just clout chasing uh, publicity machines. And it'll be like a genre of game mm-hmm. popularized mm-hmm. by a word game. They're just I mean, doing it. Uh, they're uh, trying to stay if, in if, the news, if, right? If, this if, is, there's no reason why the, these are not legitimate words. But, uh, I mean, I pulled all the funny ones, but uh, but the, they're words. They're real words. What do you mean? Which one is the saddest one? Which one is the saddest the one? The saddest one is baller. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it projects such an atmosphere of confidence. Yeah, it, that's like, that's hello, fellow kids level cringe. Maybe a gift economy, a system in which goods and services are given freely between people rather than sold or bartered. Uh, altcoin. Wait. Is on is on here now. Altcoin. Um, uh, See, I, I don't uh, I don't mind the ones that are tech focused in terms of explaining phenomenon that are new in our world. So it's like altcoin or or something like that. It, it it's the slang that that gets me. Like, would you be upset if sus showed up? Would you be upset? It would sus be annoying because it's 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 a it's a it's an ambiguation of suspicious. So what, it's like, it, it's already in there. What about dis? So, well, so I mean, you would like to remove dis? I mean, well, I know. slang of sus, suspicious. Whatever. It is. Just, sus was in the. Get out of here. In just that list. Jump off of. Adorkable. Cringe. Why did they not cringe have cringe? In there. Yeah. How is Wait. cringe not in there? Maybe they added this. Oh, they added the slang. Uh, oh, definition. that cringe. Yeah, they're adding a... Okay. An embarrassing, awkward, et cetera, as to cause one to cringe. It's not, it's not your role. Miriam Webster, stay in your lane. You're supposed to be the the you're, 
Ooh, uh, oh. Miriam and Webster, for over five million years, we've kept the words. We're ancient and ethereal beings. Like, like if, if that's that's the that's their brand. If now they're like, anyway, I'm going to yeet my cringe. Don't be sauce, fam. Like, that's bad. Why don't that, they have spam on here? What they're, that's not what they are. Who is it bad for? Me! <laughs> what is bad for you about it? I don't like it. I like for them to be... God, they're fam. In there. <laughs> Informal and slang definitions. Look at that. It's just, it's it's not what Miriam Webster should be. It, it is against their brand in my mind. I think it's against your idea of the dictionary. Maybe not their specific. What, yeah, well, I guess, yeah, I, I, maybe the, the, the dictionary meant. This dictionary meant something. something. <laughs> it needs to mean something. It did. Or it needs to mean good, something back it's here. It's good for something in an era of print, right? Because you only had, they were only updating it uh, every so often. In an era of print. Sir, a hundred years has passed. It's time for us to update <laughs> the dictionary. <laughs> yes. How many letters do we have? 17. Okay. What words I would shall like, we add? You're talking. This is exactly the world that I want to live in. That, like, if something gets added to the dictionary, it should huh? be like, like we should all solemnly bow when a gong is hit. Like, I mean, they made a news post out of it. The well, AP now reported it's like, on like, it. Like, wacky Merriam-Webster's at it again. <laughs> like, finger guns has been uh, put on the front cover of the dictionary. Please, please, let me see if finger guns is in there. Uh, not in there. Finger Maybe guns. Maybe next year. Uh, <laughs> We should you should go into the basement of the tomb of Miriam Webster and every, and every 100 years like Harry Seldon a video plays and it tells you what the new words are. The new word this year That's is it. And there's one every 100 one years. Every 100. One new word. That's And the rest of it is us slay people. We keep our own informal record. That would be that America's last word would have been made in Freedom. the 70s. Yes. It would have been picked in the 70s. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, and it's car. And that's car. the one that's picked. <laughs> and it's way overdue. They didn't have car because, in 19, Because the in last one, it was horse. <laughs> they didn't have horses before? No. Okay. <laughs> that's how slow it goes. That's how wow. austere the dictionary should be. All right. Uh, well, that's all I got for stories. You guys want to do some picks? Uh, Let's do some picks. Yeah, just a short <laughs> pick. Uh, Rick and Morty's back, so I'm watching a bunch of the back catalog. Uh, hmm. They hold up. Um, uh, but I like the first episode of the new season. Yeah. Uh, I haven't uh, seen the second one yet. It's good. Well, then I'll go watch it. Uh, uh, how are you? How are you watching Rick and Morty? Are you are you buying it? Are you got the, the, uh, the live man, TV fine, thing? Yeah. Finally, Amazon got my number before it even came out. It's like. Yo, you know what's coming out? Uh, <laughs> you want to yeah, buy this. You, you want to just press this one button? Wow. You got all of them. Well, that's, yeah, because I do that on Apple mostly because I want to always have them. Like, I want, like, a season just recorded on my phone mm -hmm. uh, uh, for those those flight those situations yep. where you just need to, like, ah, I really just need to burn, like, an hour and a half. Yeah. There's four Rick and Morty episodes, and now we're on the ground. Uh, I have not seen uh, last night. So I tried to watch it before I went to sleep, but I think I went to sleep too early. Oh, late. Uh, it was like eleven o'clock. I'm only I'm only like six minutes in, but but it's oh. uh, it's first first episode is great. They're they're still yeah. firing firing with their fastball. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's cool. We'll yeah. we'll talk about it more on spoiler in time. Hey, coming up, cordkillers.com. Uh, Justin, do you have a pick? Yeah, I do. What are we do in the shadows? Oh, just yeah. what a good show! Like I don't know, I like I, I would have expected the show to kind of fall off. Uh, uh, by now, but this season, they they keep finding a new way to twist the narrative just a little bit and get just a little bit more out of these uh, uh, characters. And the one that uh, uh, just aired this week, which brings to an end a season long plot, I thought was great. It was it was uh, 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 affecting. It, Bryce and I were talking before we um, before we started about when we like and when we don't like the kind of Taika Watiti verse. Um, and I think when all of his stuff is at its best is when there's a very grounded, understandable story that also has some wacky, crazy stuff in it. And, and that's what you've seen in uh, Our Flag Means Death and, and uh, What We Do in the Shadows. There's a lot of wackety, schmackety things that are happening around human 
understandable problems. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, what we do in the shadows this season has done great. Uh, I'm glad to see them at least seemingly outside of some of the, the COVID restrictions of last season where they had to do a lot of stuff apart from each other. There's, there's a little bit more, a little, a little bit less of that Netflix arrested development feeling where uh, not, not more than two people are allowed to talk to each other. Oh, you know what? I never put that together from last season, but that that's interesting. I mean, that's, that's why I never watched uh, uh toast of Hollywood is because it just, the first three episodes just reeked of it. It's, it's like, uh, 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 here's uh, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Larry, uh, Larry David. David. Only he's on a laptop talking to Stephen oh. Toast. Mm. Is that on Netflix yet? Uh, uh, if you fly out to England real fast, you can see it there. But it had it has not had a American not release, as far as I know. Wow, that's wild. Wow, yeah, that is really. Wow. I think I think Netflix was like trying to buy it or try to get the rights, and that held it up from. I don't know. I'm I'm I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I got to pick. Yep. Uh, we were we were talking about this. I watched Lo- Thor: Love and Thunder over the weekend. It's on the Disney Plus now. Uh, that's a that's a fine that's a fine movie. That's a fun romp. You go. You <laughs> the thing the the okay. The, uh, co- you, it's got the Thor. It's, it's got, got, the, got the love. It's got love. It's got, got the, the thunder. thunder. It's got thunder. Uh, Three great. words that have yet to be added <laughs> to the Merriam-Webster <laughs> dictionary. Well, you just keep waiting. Maybe next year. Oh, I'm, I'm writing it down. I'm uh, Merriam-Webster Jr. <laughs> ruining <laughs> my father's legacy. Well, if it's every hundred years, it would have to be a generational tradition. You're adding too many words, says the, the ghastly uh, specter of Merriam-Webster. Screw you, old man. We're going to add words every 50 yeah. years. <laughs> I'm going to add them every five minutes. Uh, I, Blizzorp. <laughs> I just made one up. It's in there now. No, not Blizzorp. Yes. I, uh, uh, I it was good. Uh, uh, the action scenes were, like, good. I, I normally, like, don't watch these, mov- these movies and things for the action stuff because it's just whatever. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of great visual effects. The story is, 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 is good. Um, <laughs> I did notice. I don't know why they don't do this. So this is on, they have it in IMAX Enhanced. On the Disney Plus, but have you noticed you've you've noticed this right when you watch a movie that has an IMAX section in it? It's not an IMAX movie; it's an IMAX section. Oh, they have like that that scene and so, that, that sequence that they shot in IMAX, right? And so, uh, watching this that scene, it's near the end of the movie, so I won't explain it. But uh, the letterboxing just changes; it's just not even the same. They just flat out just change it for that scene because yeah. <laughs> it was all CG and stuff, but. Um, but yeah, Thor: Love and Thunder, uh, uh, a good one of these. One of one of the better Marvel things I've seen in a while. Uh, so. Can I can do a bonus pick? Yeah. Yep. Do it. Oh, wait, no, we, no, we'll do after things. I'll save it for after things. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna go record some after things. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, Brian. Justin, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Bryce. Andrew, get well soon. Everybody, thank you, Bryce. One word added to Miriam Webster. <laughs> All those things. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's been weird. Also added. <laughs> My voice cracked. Thank you, Space Force. Uh, uh, all right, we're going to take a minute and uh, come back for some after things. Why are there too many words in the dictionary as one word added? <laughs> That's the thing. Like, how many words do you want in the dictionary? I, not too many. There's too many. But don't you want? Because we're going to go out of style, and it's like, like imagine if when, when you were growing up, if, like, far out, man, was, like, in the dictionary. Like, it would be bad. It would be a bad dictionary. Well, far out is in the dictionary. What about man? Yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's a good movie. It was very... Having watched all the, the, the freaking Marvel TV shows for, like, Quirk and stuff lately... It was nice to watch one of those and be like, oh, you guys like put a lot of effort. Oh, that's finished CG. Oh, this looks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I could see a CG artist killing themselves to make this like. (laughs) like, Well, that's like the rumor. The rumor is is that uh, there certainly are a lot of CG artists killing themselves to make the Marvel television shows. It's just that uh, Marvel. They keep changing things. Yeah. Marvel knows. Yeah. They know uh, that they're the 900 pound gorilla in town. They know that they will be able to get top rate talent at cut rate prices because everybody will every effects house wants to be the ones that get the big 
the big deals. And so they under they underbid. So they underbid, and then Marvel will still note them within an inch of their lives and cut random stuff to just be like, eh, doesn't work. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Apparently, uh, what I read on Wikipedia was uh, who, the Zeus. Uh, who, who plays Zeus in that movie? That'd be Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Apparently, when they filmed it, uh, Russell Crowe said, hey, let me do this in a Greek accent because he's Zeus. Yeah. And Taika Waititi said, no, that's going to sound really silly. So they filmed all of his scenes doing a British and a Greek accent, and they ended up using the Greek one. The Greek one. <laughs> but it's like, that's that's some like the room level stuff, right? Like they shot the room twice yeah. because they didn't get on film and digital. Like, why did you do that? Just make the decision. You're Marvel. You can't make a decision about this stuff. Well, but also I wonder... You know, especially considering how that um, that scene plays out, where he's apart from everybody, there's not a lot of, if any, of him, like in a in a three person. They're all talking oh, kind yeah. of stuff. Because it's all uh, yeah, that, that's, that's all green screen. So it's like if stuff. it's just him in a place with the second unit, uh, and he's like, "I want to do a Greek accent," and they're like, "I don't know, man. We're here all day, and you got like, you know, 19 lines. Sure." Greek yeah. it up. Get up. Um, gosh, Give me to the Greeks. I got a lot of thoughts about that movie, but I don't. They're they're not so interesting that I need to bring them up again. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you like the goats, or were you? The goats were controversial on on the Reddit. The they, goats. I warmed up to the goats. Yeah. I didn't love them because it was like, oh, remember the screaming goat meme from fifteen years ago? Yeah. But then, but but damn, if those goats don't scream, they're pretty. I I, I love like, a good. I like I like the I like the goats. <laughs> and the crazy eyes. Yeah. Already. Uh, yeah, I never uh, I never stop uh, <laughs> screaming like a crazy goat. Yeah. I, I I think it's great. Screaming like one. Yeah. Where people <laughs> doing that? <laughs> I remember my goat scream phase. <laughs> we all go through it. Have we all? We all go through it. Goat scream phase added. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we chatting about? Um, great question. Uh, uh, let's see. You probably, you guys probably are not in a good spot to do a world's greatest con update. My guess, because I don't know what you're talking about. Because no one. Yeah, that's right. Uh. But, but, but did we ever talk about TikTok? Did we do it uh, after things talking about the TikTok stuff? Did we? Uh, I yeah. was not there. Yeah, I think it was a oh. Bryce and Brian oh, Bryce. spend uh, forty minutes talking about TikTok. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Well, um, beep, bop, boop. I'm trying to think. Man, we ran out of words. I wish the dictionary would write more of them. Write more we words. Them more than once every I, get, I got another 45 minutes on the dictionary. If you just want to go to that. Um, do I do anything on scheduling? The scheduling has been on my mind lately on, on yeah. thoughts on, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm spitballing here, guys. To be honest, I'm scraping a bottom of the uh, yeah. I got to tell you, it's, it's just so busy. It's so, just so much. With the deadlines and the politics. They're still doing politics. They're still doing politics. Well, I thought they wrapped it up. You know, I guess we could talk. I mean, I, uh, this might just be us. Uh, world's Greatest Con Wise, we do have a a crossover thing that we're working on now. And then we have the launch of another show. I think I have to record like, I think it'll do. That was the other thing I needed to bring up with you is that we definitely, you just need to give me stuff that I can, yeah, I can edit and put together. Yeah. Cause yeah, we are running out of days. Well, uh, maybe if we're at a, at a, at a, at a, at a, if we're stumped, maybe we come back to it next week. Yeah. I think that would be prudent given these unprecedented times. Already, the world has been shocked. We had added too many words recently. We added too many. It caused volcanoes. <laughs> when none of us have insurance, we should have listened to those pamphlets. We 
<laughs> rockets are do we have just, any just what, leaving their engines what like is there like a pompeii inst- like index on like 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 where where's the where's the who's pompeii in it right now and we don't realize uh who's too close to a volcano the oh oh uh all of Hawaii. america like like the, america. the 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 super volcano underneath uh, uh, Wyoming in, in Yellowstone is going to literally end humanity if we're still dumb enough to be on this planet when in the much sooner than the sun exploding times, yeah. like, like, like 5,000-ish years plus or minus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but shy of that... <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm just talking about Pompeii. I'm not talking about the world ending. Like yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, like, like who's gonna be like, like, oh man, why did we have Vancouver so close to a volcano? Like something like that. Uh, well, uh, Mount St. Helens uh, happened in our lifetimes. Yeah. And did uh, that crush any village? Uh, well, it or killed town? a lot of people. And as a matter of fact, there's heartbreaking photographs of a photographer who realized I'm going to die. So he took the best photos he could of of uh, 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 Mount St. Helens erupting yeah. and then packed up all of his equipment, curdled his body around it oh, Jesus. and became buried in burning ash that consumed him alive. But they were able to recover the photos. Good God. What a way to go out. Damn. That's metal. Did he also take a picture of him, like giving the middle finger and just being like, ah. <laughs> he respected the volcano. Good for him. Not, one of those photos would be me giving the giving the middle finger in, respect, in the frame. Respect <laughs> the volcano. <laughs> or, or, better, or better yet, a selfie of you going like, <laughs> yeah, Jim from the office, <laughs> like <laughs> on Snapchat. Bad day at the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then uh, we're we're gonna take it offline. Get ready for some cord killers here. Cobra Kai. I like I like the new season of Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. I like the fact that every episode on Cobra Kai, they're like, how is there going to be a karate fight? That's... And then, boy, howdy, do they just give you a karate fight. <laughs> I love it. Hey, I'm being booted off of Facebook. Okay. Or uh, do you want to dig into that? Not really. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for listening to the show. We're going to go offline yeah. here while Brian gets uh, booted off Facebook. Uh, have a good one. That's crazy. Thank you.